Never accept a coffee off a student. Medium latte, extra hot, episode 36. Um, that time I, I got offered a coffee off of a student back in the days when I worked in Brighton. I used to do a lot of student properties and um, it was the one and only time I accepted an offer for a coffee off of a student and regretted it. And from that day on, if anyone, any student offers me a coffee or even a drink, I would say no, because the majority of students' properties are disgusting. And when he brings out the coffee, I don't know if he's, because he's a foreign student, I don't know, but he brings out the coffee and I look at it and it's got lumps in it. And it looks gross. So it's like, what is the, is the milk off? Is it lumpy milk? Doesn't taste good. I, well, I, I think I have, might have even had a, a sniff or a sip. Just didn't smell or taste good. And uh, I asked him, what is that? And basically he told me it was powdered milk. Who in their right mind buys powdered milk? That is just gross. Um, so... <laughs> And uh, I remember my mum telling me she used to do cleaning um, and occasionally she'd do a student property and she'd go there. Normally people cleaning your hoovering, your washing sinks and whatnot. She goes to a student house. You know what they get her to do? The weeks of piling of the piles of washing up. And she's like, it's disgusting. It's like she spent two hours washing up all the crap that they had. Just piles and piles of it. And she said it was so disgusting. She didn't ever want to work for a student ever again. And then, um, but the worst coffee ever given to uh, to anyone was my dad told me a story how he was given a coffee by an old lady. You got to watch out for those old ladies as well. Um, this old lady, she had a, cat, a few cats, and he was sipping the coffee, and he ended up with a mouthful of a furball, a cat furball which is gross if you've ever oh i'm even thinking about it generally cats um ugh, that you if you own a cat you will know they cough up furballs because they like they're, they're licking they're cleaning themselves and they get fur in their stomach and eventually it turns into a big ball and they puke it up my dad had one of those in his coffee which Oh, even the thought of it makes me sick. It's like a ball of fur and sick. My dad had one in his coffee. I don't know if it, it was it was it fur was it actual fur? Well, do you know, does he know what a furball is, or is it just a bit of cat hair? I don't know. But he said it was a furball. If it was a furball, that is sick. Literally in his mouth. Um, anyway, that's my tip of the day. Don't expect accept coffee off a students or old ladies with cats. Tip of the day. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell and I'll see you on the morrow peeps.